What is up you guys, it's Bolty98 and in this video we got a new video from Call of Duty's YouTube called Open Combat Missions Intel Drop. Basically we learn more about open combat, but we also get some guns, score streaks, and bomb defusal looks. So yes guys, let's hop right into it. If you want to go check out the video, there was the thing. I think it's called Open Combat Missions Intel Drop. Just go to Call of Duty's page and you can find it right there um, if you want to watch. But we do have screenshots, so let's go ahead and get to this video here. First open combat missions basically they talked and told us more about what this meant this wasn't just uh, a choice of running gun or stealthy this is literally you play the game however you want to play if you want to bring cars into the mission if you want to do knives only if you want to do snipers only if you want to run in the water for 30 minutes and then go kill people you can do that and the mission will be how your impact like you play the mission how you want to play and you do not have to worry about anything else on the map it's basically just you playing the game however you want um we also get a look at like the map obviously look at i mean the cool the water looks so good the mountains here look great um it just looks like a great map to our campaign mode so i can't wait to get into it and start playing it but of course i don't know how this will play out because then they started talking more about you know x filling and uh Picking up rewards, or not rewards necessarily, but guns within the mission. Because you're going to spawn with your base loadout. Um, but then you kind of find these supply crates that will give you guns. And then in there, you can then use those guns and exfil with those guns and keep them. But it is still unsure if you actually get to keep these for other missions. Because they talked about basically you start with your own. And then you kind of find weapons while playing. But do you, when you exfil with these weapons, do you keep them for the next mission? Or does it just kind of sit in an armory type thing? Also, with this, we realize that now you'll be doing your own mission, so obviously you won't have NPCs to kind of revive you or to be there and help take cover fire, so you'll have to find these self-revives that could be very helpful, so that way whenever you do die or go down, you don't actually have to restart the whole mission. You have a chance to get the self-revive off and actually, you know, somewhat get going in the right direction we've also got two weapons confirmed to be in through this uh the g36c and it looks like the cost of 74u which we knew is basically just the modern warfare 2 cost of 74u i believe um is obviously coming back because they're doing the carry forward thing so it does look like npcs in the campaign will be carrying forward with those cost of guns and modern warfare 2 guns to be exact this was going to look like we need to fuse a bomb and search and destroy uh basically just Pretty obvious information here. Um, nothing too much to it. Just a little bit of a modern look, cleaner look, but nothing too much of uh, anything for real. So I'm not too surprised on that. But I did like the guns. The G36C, I think the last time we saw that was in Modern Warfare 3. So it's cool to see that making a return. We also saw the Costa 74U, which is basically the AK-74U. Um, but recently they changed the name. It does look like it's going to be the Costa 74U for sure. Meaning we'll probably have the Costa 545, the Costa 7762 instead of the AK, AK, and you know, AK. So then we also confirmed that the cruise missile is coming back into... Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, it does look like we will be getting it, and it does look like to work the same way it does in Modern Warfare 2, where you kind of just work as a Predator missile, and instead of, you know, the old version in Black Ops, where you would press the button, and it would kind of disperse and kill like four to five enemies, so kind of crazy that they didn't go back to the old way, uh, but I guess they kind of just got lazy and decided to throw it back in, so hopefully we do get some type of new kill streaks coming soon, because that would not be, you know, kind of be boring to not have any new ones, but... We'll have to wait to find out or at least wait to see if they bring any any more into these leaks that they're giving. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down below on any of this information. Do you think this season or this Call of Duty is going to be great? I think it is. Honestly, it sounds a lot better now that I can you know wrap my head around the open world missions basically. Um, so I'm ready for it. I hope you guys are and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, fellas.